My name is Wolfgang Weilieder. I'm an artist, sculptor, um, originally from Germany, based in Newcastle, and I'm probably most well known for my temporary, site-specific, time-based architectural installations. I'm very much interested first in architecture and architectural language and what architecture does and how it creates or helps us create public places or places for public interaction. When people come and visit the work, they can expect to see a pavilion or a kiosk. And a kiosk is um, a Persian pavilion, so this is where the name comes from. Kiosk is not um, a time-based work, so it doesn't change. However, it uses architectural language, and in that case, the language of various religions, in order to uh, provoke a discussion about our understanding of, first of all, what is a sacred space, um, and secondly, um, how can architecture, or the, the way I use it, instigate a debate about social minorities, different belief systems, and what combines them, what, is, uh, what are the similarities and the overlaps, and what are the differences. We're really excited to be showing this new work by Wolfgang Willeder this summer. Kiosk offers opportunities for calm contemplation, but it also offers opportunities for social interaction. So the exhibition is opening just as social distancing restrictions are ebbing away. So it seems like a, a really brilliant time to be creating an exhibition for people to, to, to be together again. I love this building, I've worked here for over 25 years, um, but we've never through the programme explored the religious aspect of it. So it's fantastic to be able to bring this piece here which very directly talks about spirituality. Um, it's a place for calm, it's a place for meditation, but it's also a place for social interaction. In fact, like churches are, whether they are functioning or in Fabrica's case not, they're still beautiful community buildings. For me, uh, the context of the work is very important, so I'm very happy that I can show it in um, Christian contexts, for example, the church here in Fabrica. Um, because in a way, what I do, I bring back the pews into an empty church, but in a different way. And by that kind of really challenge not only the architecture, but also the space itself. And, uh, and bring something in which is missing. Yes, I wanted to combine two different religions um, and use one, the material of one religion, in that case, uh, the pews from various Christian churches, from a Methodist church, from an Anglican church, from two Anglican churches in the northeast of England. And uh, um, so the whole design is based on the actual design of the pews. So I got the pews first and completely dismantled them in their individual parts and then saw or looked at them how could I turn them around and, and tweak them so that I can come up with a language that reminds us of an Islamic language. Obviously Islamic language would be far more, um, there would be different elements in it but at least I could, could kind of like create some sort of cliché of it, or at least what we can see in it. I have a long-term meditation practice. Since about 20 years, I'm engaged in a meditation practice. And 
somehow I feel that the practice I do um, comes more and more into my own artistic practice. Uh, so it has always in some form shaped it. But this is the first time where I directly kind of try to find something out for myself. Uh, as I say, about what defines a sacred space or a spiritual place. Or is it the architecture? Is it uh, the material? Is it the context where it's placed? Or is it uh, what we do in there? So all these different aspects I try to highlight with that work. I think it would be great if people who are visiting my work um, begin to ask certain questions when they see the work and when they experience it. One is the question, obviously, what is a sacred space? How do I interact with it? What can I get from it? What is the differences between all these religions? Are there any differences? And um, hopefully think a little bit about that and maybe realize that ultimately all these religions who seem so different, if you look closely, want basically always the same thing, which is that you should strive as a human being to become a, a fulfilled good person, essentially, and um, live a way, in a way that you fulfill your human potential to the best. Um, and if people would realize that uh, through my work, that would be amazing. <laughs>